So uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to use extended uh, extended ADSR from search in another way. So I mean, uh, not in the usual way where you send a gate and you can delay it and uh, and set the envelope. You know the attack, the decay, the sustain, and the release, and uh, switch to the different ramps. I'm not going to show you how to use an ADSR for an envelope, but I'm going to show you how to send an, a signal. And today it's going to be an audio signal which you I send in as a sustain control voltage input here. And uh, I will take the signal from an, any oscillator, you know. I'm going to take it from a surge oscillator to show you what it does if you have a surge oscillator. It could be anything, actually. And I'm going to take the signal out from here. So I'm going to show you how, it do, how I do it. Huh? So I'm taking an output from the sine wave, for instance. I hope I'm not too much in the way of the camera, but I'll do my best. And I'm plugging the signal in the sustain control voltage input of the ADSR. So we already see here that it's getting a signal. And um, I'm gonna take this original signal and show it on the scope in yellow. So it's at the bottom. So you will remember the original signal. <coughs> no matter what is shown here. So if I change here, it should react and it does. Good. On the other hand, I'm gonna take the output and plug it into my mixer there, my X fader. Hmm. I'm going to take a longer cable. I'm going to plug it here. Oops. So, and I take the output of the IGSR and we hear it. Huh? Now, I'm going to set the switch here at the bottom position, in the bottom position, because this is how I'm going to demonstrate today. You will try home on the other settings. On top it should make much, much change, but in the bottom you will not hear much like this, like now. We don't hear much. If we go on the bottom, it will amplify. Now I'm gonna take the signal out of the ADSR, which we hear now, and take it on the yellow and the red. Show it in red on the scope. I have the same voltage settings, so uh, this is coming in this is coming out. I hope you understand. I'm not showing it in a different way. I'm not showing it in another division. Both are in the same division. So this is, you see how it acts. Now it's attenuating, obviously. And if I go up, if I turn clockwise, my pot sustained control voltage potentiometer, you will see in the middle position, it's quite it's actually the same as the original, plus uh, 0, 0,6 volts, but it doesn't matter. And if I turn it even further, it starts clipping. I'm full clockwise, and you see what it does. I'm going to change the frequency on the oscillator so you see what it does. See now it's a triangle in high frequency. Okay. And the lower I get, the more it looks like a kind of mix between a, a square wave and a sine wave. And I only move the, deep, the sustain part here, CV control part. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say from now on sustain part, decay part, attack part. It's much more easy. Even if it's the control voltage of the decay, of the sustain of the atom. Okay. So now I'm moving the decay part. Oh, it goes to a soap tooth. And I'm going to take something else on the side where you will see. 
like if I take a triangle instead, which you see in yellow at the bottom, the original signal, what it does on top is what the ideas are. Module does. So we see it's clipping the signal as the top of the waveform, but uh, it's not the only thing it does, uh, hopefully. Uh, and we'll see it when we move the other controls or, or move differently the parts, control parts. I'm only moving decay and sustain now. I'm going to show you the attack. direction so to triangle side <laughs> so you see huh I'm going to show you now something, but you can do it with, with whatever you want. I'm going to take another signal coming from the, the triangle, for instance. Output is the same oscillator, so it will be the same frequency. And I'm going to put it in the decay. So you see the signal is not high enough. Huh?
Now I take a signal and I put it in the gate instead. Instead, and um, of course, it's if it's sine wave like now, uh, it won't gate the ADSR. So I take something with a uh, like a triangle, a square, a sawtooth, and uh, it's, it's gating it. Huh? thing I didn't show it till now but it's if you take um, a signal out of the oscillator and put it in the gate an audio signal sorry and put it in the gate of course it will have some shape you know Uh, DC signal out of the uh, AC signal. Huh? 